Hey, welcome to another sort of beers, Jack and Barbecue. Check the crust out on these. I'm Craig, the Memory Honey Cameras Jack. Today we're doing a fast one. Got two nice prime ribeyes. Got the SNS kettle set up with the plancha on it. We just did some pork tenderloins, and typically we wouldn't do like two in a row on the same grill, but they turned out so good, the pork, and like, we gotta do steaks. And as we mentioned in the previous uh, episode you're watching, Jack and I purchased the whole prime ribeye. We cut some roast out of it, which you saw some prime rib roast we've already done. Then we cut different steaks out of it. These are only about half to three quarters of an inch, not even three quarters of an inch, definitely just over half an inch thick. Kind of like we did the pork tenderloin. So this is just going to be super hot and super fast. Looking at probably a minute and a half a side. Um, the pork tenderloins we were going for 145. Jack and I like ours medium rare or even just, you know, um, just under, at the rare side at 120, 125. So these are only going to be, I'm going to probably do them a minute aside and see where they get to. And if we have to do a little more, we will. But that'll be the plan for today. The rubber we're using today is um, Jabin. Again, we used his on the pork shoot as well. But this is his mad cow rub. Um, first one was excellent. Coated these about two hours ago. Looking forward to seeing what that tastes like. We'll see you on the grill. All right, so we're gonna get them on here. I have the grill running. It's around 350 to 375 on the grill temperature itself. And I have the coals banked over here. So it's gonna be our hot side. You can actually feel the difference in the heat. So I'm guessing it's up over 500 degrees over there. Um, as I did before, I'm gonna spray it with a little, little ghee to just for any sticking. And we're gonna get them all. Like I said, it's gonna be fast. So I'm gonna get my watch set up for uh, Hoping for a little more sizzle there, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, we're going a minute to a minute and a half. All right, so we went a minute and a half. I was expecting a little more sizzle when I dropped these on. Still got a pretty nice sear going. Move them to the outside there a little bit. Still look good. I was just hoping for a little more. I, didn't, I don't know what you see in the background right now, but when we did the, uh, the beginning, we had a good snowstorm here a few days ago. I, had, I guess it was the second highest total they recorded, uh, a little over 27 inches for us. So that's a, that's a big storm for us in this area of Pennsylvania. All right, that was another minute and a half, so I want to just get a temperature reading and see where we're at. Like I said, I was expecting it just to be a little bit hotter, like 97 on that one. But 110 on that one, that was a little bit thinner, and it looked like I got more sear. So I'm going to flip them and get the other side Switch them around a little bit here. Get a nice sear. I was just holding for a little bit more sizzle, but these are going to be perfect. Probably another minute and they're going to be done. All right, I'm going to pull a thinner one off because that's going to be done. Let that go just another few seconds and you're going to yank that one too. All right, we'll show you on the cutting board. As always, cheers. Hmm. Here we are into the cook. Two quick, like half inch ribeyes done on the SNS uh, kettle with the plancha put in place. Um, I was actually hoping for it to be running a little bit hotter. I thought I had it nice and hot, it felt that way. Uh, they didn't sizzle quite as much as I wanted to, but I think we got a good result. Just went a little bit longer. Uh, with a temperature, so we're going to cut into them and see how they look. So, still shooting for that medium rare. And it looks like we're on medium on this one. I'm thinking this one's going to be slightly less, but I'm sure with this crust, they're still going to be good. And as I mentioned before, we use Jabin, Jabin's uh, Proposal Barbecue Mad Cow Rub, so looking forward to tasting that. It's the first time I'm using it. Mmm. I said this one's just done a little bit past where we, where we prefer it, but boys, it still have a good flavor. 
still has a good crust and that rub just helps bring it out even more and enhances it. You can taste a little bit of salt in there, which I like on a steak. I didn't salt brinies in advance. Like I said, put the rub on about two hours before and just did the cook. So it was about one a minute and a half on each side and then brought them back, the one for about 20 seconds and the other one for about 30 seconds. So that's all it was for a half inch steak on that. Nice quick dinner, looking forward to it. Um, I was yelling at Jack to get moving because I didn't want a cold steak. So uh, hopefully like we're seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, get notifications, and we'll see you next time.